Hello everyone, welcome to Another World, where scientific papers become more accessible. The idea behind this video is to explain some of the concepts from the scientific publications in simple words. Today's paper is called Evolution of Graphene Growth on Copper and Nickel by Isotope Labeling. Now there are three keywords here. There is graphene growth, there is copper and nickel, and then there is isotope labeling. What is graphene? Graphene is the wonder material of the 21st century. The government and the industry are spending tons of money on researching this wonder material because it has some amazing properties. But how does it grow? What is the mechanism behind the growth? How can you control the production? For that, we need to know what is the mechanism of growth. And this is what was discussed or studied by isotope labeling in the paper today. So now for graphene growth, you need three main things. One is the methane, which gives the carbon or any other carbon source. Methane is just an example. Then you need a metal catalyst, which is copper or nickel. And you need a furnace that can go to more than 1000 degrees Celsius. Coming to the catalyst part. What is a catalyst? Catalyst is something that makes things do things which they normally wouldn't do. So it's kind of freaky. But it's pretty cool. And this definition is borrowed from a very f famous TV show. So if you know which one I'm talking about, comment below. Coming to the isotope labeling, the third key of, the, of today's paper. Isotope labeling, well, what are isotopes? Well, carbon has two isotopes. It has C12 and C13. You can think of isotopes as being like identical twins where one of the twin, in this case is C13, is a tiny bit heavier than the other one. Now coming to the paper today, mechanism of graphene growth. What are the two mechanisms of growth? There are two main mechanisms of growth. First is the solubility driven, in which basically the carbon source on coming in contact with this hot metal surface decomposes and dissolves in the metal. And when you bring this metal from the high temperature to the room temperature, the carbon comes out and then forms a layer, which is graphene or few layers of graphene. That's the solubility-driven mechanism. The second one is the catalytic activity-driven. In the catalytic activity-driven, the carbon source, methane, comes in contact with this hot metal surface and decomposes into carbon and hydrogen. And then this carbon is deposited on the metal surface when you cool it down to room temperature. So two mechanisms of growth. What this group did was they grew the graphene by using copper and nickel as catalyst and they used two methane sources. So basically C12 methane and C13 methane, so two isotopes of carbon. These two samples with graphene on top were analyzed with Raman spectroscopy. In Raman spectroscopy, the C12 shows a peak here and the C13 shows a peak here. So you know where is the C12 and where is the C13 on your sample. So it's like labeling where exactly is what. In case of nickel, what was found that the C12 and the C13 carbons were just randomly distributed. They were just everywhere without any pattern. So there was no correlation between the exposure time and the appearance of the carbon. So which means that the, the mechanism that is dominating in case of nickel is the solubility one. The first one but in case of copper what was interesting that you can actually see a pattern where the c12 appears and then there is the c13 appears so the copper was exposed to carbon 13 methane for a certain amount of time followed by carbon 12 methane for a certain amount of time so what you see here is that the carbon 13 formed first so the large areas are the carbon 13 and then wherever there was space the graphene from carbon 12 formed it's kind of exciting because this means that in case of copper, the mechanism of growth is catalytic activity driven. Now there are several other concepts which are discussed in this paper. For example, the appearance of the second layer of graphene or the third layer of graphene and the thermodynamics and kinetics behind the growth mechanisms. If you are interested, you can find this paper by just googling its name and read more. If you have any questions, please comment below. I hope you understood what I was trying to say in other words. If you have any other scientific terms or techniques or papers which you would like me to explain in other words, please contact me on Twitter or write me an email or just comment below. 
Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.